Next, we will load in some book-specific content to our list widget. In the code pack, you'll find acmebooks.csv. This is what we're looking at now in this web-based spreadsheet program, which you should be able to use for free if you'd like. We're going to grab this, as we did before, uh, and to paste it into our repeater dataset, we need to edit the media list repeater. What we're doing here is editing the instance of the media list widget in the project file. This has no effect on the media list widget stored in the RPLIB file. Remember, we need to do keyboard paste operation with the top left cell selected. That is Control V on PC. I think that is Command V on Mac. OK, let's see how this looks. OK, there's some misshapen text there because the text is a little too long for the space in the description shape box. Let's just size it down in the base view so it fits, but keep it at 13 pixels in the large view. OK, this should look good now. Now we can add some specific images for our books. This is a little more involved, so we'll be doing it in the next video.